Hello, and welcome to Top Solid. Today we are going to discuss how to uninstall a prior version of Top Solid 7 CAD or CAM. Today's example, we are going to remove Top Solid version 7.13 from this PC. To do the uninstallation, we are going to use the same setup files or disk that you received to install Top Solid originally. From versions 7.14 and newer, they've been delivered via the Content Delivery Network using Top Solid Downloader, and you will receive a setup.exe application file. In version 7.13, however, this is slightly different. In version 7.13, it was delivered on a disk or download via an ISO file. In some instances, this ISO file needs a third-party software to mount to your computer. In that case, we suggest Googling Virtual Clone Drive, and you can download via CNET. It's a little sheep. The Virtual Clone Drive is mainly used for a version of Windows 7 or older that does not have the availability of mounting directly like Windows 10 and above does. Okay, before we get started, I want to look at the C drive and we're going to see what gets uninstalled. So we're going to go to Program Files on the C drive. 713 it was Missler Software, and here we see the application files for Top Solid version 713. In version 714 and newer, the program file subfolder will be called Top Solid. One final thing prior to getting started, I want to go to the Task Manager and services. And inside services, I want to stop the Top Solid 713 PDM server, Top Solid local PDM server 713. As we see here, it is running. Simply right click and stop it. And we can close our services and task manager. Now, we're going to mount the 713 disk. If this is just a 714 or newer, double click the setup exe file. Once mounted, here's the setup exe file that we're going to launch. And yes to any pop ups. Now, without making any changes to the installed software, you'll notice that there is an uninstall all button in the lower right hand corner. This is what we're going to use. Prior to doing so, just to go through here, if you do not uncheck any of these things, these are the items that will also be uninstalled. So let's hit the uninstall all you're going to receive two pop-ups. The first one asks about uninstalling SQL Server. This is important that you say no to uninstalling the SQL Server because you have other versions of Top Solid using this same database server. So we'll say no to this. Next, it's asking if you want to uninstall Sentinel. If you are working off of a single dongle, this will prevent your licensing from working in your other versions as well. So we also want to say no to uninstalling any Sentinel protection softwares. You'll have one last chance to view what is going to be uninstalled. In this case, it is just the top solid software, design, cam, interop, viewer of the like. And we're going to click uninstall all and let it cycle. I'll pause the video briefly while this runs. 
Okay, that ran for about three minutes as it finishes up here. Uninstallation has been completed successfully, and we can say close. Now, if we go back to our program files folder, the Missler software folder, top solid 713, is empty except for the post processors that may have been installed. In that case, we can simply delete that folder. Next, we'll look at the C drive top solid PDM folder. So what we have done is deleted, uninstalled the software itself, any registry links. Now, if we look at the top solid PDM folder, you'll notice a local PDM server 713 folder. This is all the data in the vault. If you have migrated into the next version, the data that is in this vault is obsolete. If you want, you can make a backup. It is unnecessary if you will not ever install 713 again. You can simply delete this folder as well. And that concludes the uninstallation tutorial on how to uninstall a prior version of Top Solid. If you have any questions, please email or call the support line seen on the screen now. And thank you for your time and have a great day.